have to remember, even the paired back fittings are designer because, you know, that's what Queen Elizabeth would have wanted, I'm sure. And coming to the bedroom here, we're getting special access. This is exclusive access. You're not normally allowed inside the train. So this is a very special day for us. You can come to the museum, of course, and have a look at the trains, look in through the windows. Anthony is here. Hi. He's back to tell us more. Anthony, I find it so fascinating. These trains, this one here in particular, is bulletproof. Yeah, yeah, well this is the heaviest railway carriage ever made in Britain. And that's because it's like a double skin, it's armour plated because it's built during the war to take the monarch around the country. So everything is really, really strong. It's armour plated, it's the first train in the UK to have air conditioning. Oh. They carried a tonne and a half of ice to run the aircon every wow. day, which is like just so crazy. Such but everything stuff. in it, yeah, it's, it's austere, but everything that is the Queen's personal taste. She like, doesn't like spending money but it's all quality stuff. Oh, good stuff. Okay, let's get into your five day forecast and we'll kick things off in Brisbane, which can expect some beautiful weather on this hump day. Brizzy, you are looking at a top of around about 25 degrees, 23 tomorrow, and then temperatures staying around that mark until Sunday. Sydney is looking partly cloudy on this Wednesday, 19, and tomorrow and Friday, 21, and then the weekend is looking rather delightful as well. If you're waking up with us in Melbourne, it's a cloudy Wednesday, 14 the expected top. Tomorrow, it will warm up just a touch, 15 with a shower or two, and a really similar forecast right through until Sunday. Good morning to you, Adelaide. You are looking at sunny skies today and 17 degrees. Temperatures will stay in the teens for the rest of the week, so it is going to be rather chilly. And then compare that to Perth. Perth is experiencing a heat wave, my friends. 26 degrees on this Wednesday. It's May. It's May and 25 from Thursday right through until Sunday. Okay, York is also the birthplace of chocolate. It is the home of chocolate. Chocolate has been made here for 300 years. Some really famous brands that you would have heard of and you would have eaten. We went to the York Chocolate Story and it's kind of like a history museum for chocolate. You get to learn all about the past, how it's made. You get to make some yourself, get your hands dirty and really get involved in the process. And uh, of course, I ate a lot of chocolate while I was there. I actually felt a little bit sick afterwards, but you know, it's worth it in the end. And you know, a few hours later, you just feel like eating some more chocolate. And uh, I actually did make a bit of a souvenir for myself because I want to buy some royal souvenirs for the wedding, but I actually made my own. And that's a little Prince Harry on a stick. He's even got the kind of red hair up the top there. And everyone would have heard of Kit Kats before. Well, they were actually made in York. They were called Chocolate Crisps and now in York 47 Kit Kats, I'm just trying to think of the fact, 47 Kit Kats are eaten every single second and uh, I'm going to do that just now because everyone has a style of eating Kit Kats, Carl and Georgie, and I like to eat around the edges like this and then eat the middle. How do you do it? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anthony. <laughs> you can come out now. <laughs> Anyone want this? No. Apologies. No. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. You were in game. Go through a lot of booties in this place. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 